Today's video is dedicated to all the French fry lovers. So today we're going to be making four different French fry recipes. Everything is going to be baked in the oven as opposed to being deep fried, just to make it a little bit more wholesome. We're going to start out with some simpler recipes and then we're going to end it with the most epic loaded fry recipe ever. It's seriously so, so good. And then for every French fry recipe that we share with you, we're going to show you how to make at least one, if not two different dipping sauces. Because let's be honest, we just use French fries as a carrying device for the dipping sauces, right? All right, let's get started. We're going to begin by making some crispy baked seaweed fries served with a hoisin mayo and a sriracha mayo. Russet potatoes are kind of the gold standard for recipes like this one, but Yukon Gold works really well too. I like to keep the skin on for extra fiber, but you can peel it if you'd like. So we're going to cut these into thin little strips about one centimeter or half an inch in thickness. Once we've cut everything up, we're then going to dunk it into some cold water and then let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. So this is optional, but I've mentioned in a previous video that soaking your potatoes in water like this helps it to remove the starch that's on the outside of the potatoes. That helps it to crispen up when it's cooking in the oven. So while this soaks, we're going to prep the seaweed. We're going to use about two nori sheets and using a knife, we're just going to cut them into small little pieces. The seaweed gives a very mild umami flavor to the potatoes. It is optional, you can omit it if you'd like, but I think it's fun. It's something different than just regular plain french fries. By now we can drain the water from the potatoes and then we're gonna dry it as well as we can using a clean kitchen cloth. Then we're gonna transfer it all to a parchment lined baking dish. Now drizzle over top about one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon each of salt, and some freshly ground black pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And finally, we're gonna add to it the cut up seaweed. Then we're gonna toss everything to coat and spread the potatoes apart. You really don't want your potatoes to be too crowded in the pan, otherwise they're not gonna crispen up, so you can transfer it over to a second parchment lined baking dish if you need to. We're then going to pop all of this into the oven to bake at 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes. We are going to stop once at the halfway point to give it a gentle flip. Now we're going to be making the dipping sauces. The first one is a classic, it's a winner every time, and it's sriracha mayo. So it's really easy to make to a small bowl. We're going to add three tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise, one tablespoon of sriracha hot sauce, give it all a stir, and then that's it. We'll use the same process when making the hoisin mayo. So three tablespoons of vegan mayo and one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Give it a swirl and you're finished. When the fries are golden and crispy, we're gonna take it out of the oven and sprinkle on a little bit more salt. This time we're using sea salt for the added crunch. So the dips can be served on the side and dunked into, or you can do as we're doing here, which is drizzling that sriracha mayo sauce over top of the french fries. You can then sprinkle over top some freshly sliced scallions and some toasted sesame seeds. It's seriously such a delicious, unique way of enjoying french fries with the umami flavors from the seaweed. It's such a small little ingredient too that makes such a big difference in flavor. It's a dish I'm sure you're gonna wanna make again and again. A loud crunch. Oh, a very loud crunch. For the next recipe, we're making these mouth-watering miso roasted sweet potatoes with a sambal tahini mayo. For this recipe, we're gonna cut the potatoes into wedges. For that, we're gonna first cut it in half lengthwise, and then we're gonna cut into it on an angle, making about four or five wedges per half a potato. Now to a large bowl, we're gonna add one tablespoon of sesame oil, two teaspoons of maple syrup, two teaspoons of miso paste, and two teaspoons of sambal uleg. And using a fork, we're gonna mash and mix this all together. And then we can add in the wedges along with one teaspoon's worth of freshly grated ginger. And then we're gonna toss everything to coat. Transfer the sweet potatoes over to a parchment lined baking dish and then spread the pieces apart as much as you can. And then we're gonna bake it in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for about 35 to 40 minutes. You are gonna to wanna to give the potatoes a flip at least once at the halfway point. And if you have any leftover marinade, you can kinda of just evenly spread that over the potatoes before you put it back in the oven to bake. Meanwhile, we're gonna make the spicy sambal tahini mayo. This dipping sauce together with the flavors from the caramelized miso sweet potatoes is absolutely heavenly. I seriously have no other words to describe it. Really simple to make, so all you're gonna to need to do is grab a small bowl, and then we're gonna to add to it one tablespoon of vegan mayonnaise, one tablespoon of tahini, two teaspoons of water, one teaspoon of sambal ulik, and one teaspoon of sodium reduced soy sauce. Then give it all a stir, and you're done. When the potatoes are cooked through and slightly golden along the edges, you're ready to enjoy this along with your dipping sauce. We varied up this recipe a little bit by cutting the potatoes into wedges, which makes them soft and warm on the inside and deliciously caramelized on the outside. 
If you want to crispen them up on the outside even more, you can bake them on your oven's broiler setting just for an extra couple of minutes. I've made this dish at least three times in the last month. It's so good, so addicting, and that dipping sauce is absolutely heavenly. For the next recipe, we're making some non-potato fries, which are gonna be the baked zucchini fries. These we're gonna serve along with two different dips. We're gonna begin by cutting two medium zucchinis into one inch or two centimeter thick fries, and then we're gonna transfer it to a shallow dish. We're gonna drizzle over top two teaspoons of vegetable oil and then toss this to coat. Then we're gonna pour over top three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one teaspoon of salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. Using our hands, we're gonna mix everything together to coat the zucchini. So we're using breadcrumbs because it really helps to crispen up the outside of the zucchini, otherwise it just gets kind of soggy when it's baking. And you can get really creative with this recipe too by adding different spices into it if you'd like. Things like curry powder, Cajun spice, Italian mix, the options are endless. We're now gonna transfer it all to a parchment-lined baking tray, spread it all apart, and then bake it in the oven at 340 Fahrenheit or 170 Celsius for about 20 minutes. We're then gonna remove it from the oven, give it a gentle flip, and then bake it again for another 20 minutes or so. So while the zucchini is baking away, we're gonna make two different dipping sauces. You of course don't need to make both, but we just wanted to give you options. So first up is gonna be this roasted red pepper dip. To a small food processor, we're gonna add about two roasted bell peppers from a jar, along with one teaspoon of sambal ulek and half a teaspoon each of garlic powder, dried basil, and dried oregano. Then we're gonna blend it all up until it's coarsely chopped. So this is our version of a marinara sauce, but instead of using tomatoes, we're using the roasted bell peppers. Now you can heat it up in the microwave or on the stove if you'd like, but I like to enjoy it like this. Next, we're gonna be making a Thousand Island dip. So for this, to a bowl, we're gonna add a third of a cup of vegan mayo, two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of chopped pickles, one tablespoon of sweet chili sauce, one teaspoon of pickle juice that we just took straight out from the pickle jar, and some freshly cracked black pepper. Then we're gonna give it all a mix to combine. This Thousand Island sauce, if you've never had it before, it's really creamy. It's kind of just like the toppings you would put on top of a burger or a hot dog. So it's really nice to dip your fries into it. When the zucchini is golden on the outside and soft on the inside, it's ready to enjoy. Crispy breaded zucchini fries with some yummy dips. It's a nice alternative to regular potato fries every once in a while. This last recipe is gonna blow you away. We're gonna be making some loaded chili sweet potato fries. We're gonna begin by putting about half of a cup of raw cashews into a bowl, and then we're gonna cover it with some boiling water and set this aside for now. Then we'll peel about four medium sweet potatoes and cut them into about half an inch or one centimeter thick fries. Try to cut them as evenly as possible or similar in thickness so that they'll cook evenly. And as we've done before, we're gonna soak the potatoes in cold water and then let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. Meanwhile, we're gonna prep the veggies for the chili. We're gonna finely chop one medium onion, we'll mince three cloves of garlic, and we'll finely chop two medium carrots. By now, we can drain the water from the sweet potatoes and dry them as best we can using a clean kitchen cloth. And then we're gonna transfer the potatoes to a parchment-lined baking tray and sprinkle over top one tablespoon of arrowroot starch or cornstarch. Using our hands, we're gonna get in there to coat the fries as evenly as we can. And then we're gonna cover the French fries with about one tablespoon of vegetable oil, half of a teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and just a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. Then get in there with your hands again and mix it all together. We're then gonna divide the potatoes over two baking trays, spreading the fries apart as much as possible from one another. And then we're gonna bake the potatoes in the oven at 430 Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius for about 20 minutes. Then we're gonna stop to give it a flip and then we're gonna bake it for another about 20 to 25 minutes. Next, we're gonna make the chili. So to a large pot on medium high heat, we're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil along with the onion and garlic. We're gonna cook this for about three to five minutes until the onions become translucent. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon each of dried oregano and salt, and a quarter teaspoon each of smoked paprika powder and chili powder. We're gonna let this cook for about a minute, stirring throughout, and then we're gonna add to the pot the chopped carrots, one 400 gram cans worth of diced tomatoes, one and a half cups of cooked black beans, half of a vegetable bouillon cube, and half of a cup of water. Then we're gonna give this a stir. Let it cook for about 20 minutes. We're gonna partially cover it with a lid and we're gonna stop to stir it periodically until all the liquid has been absorbed and the chili is thick and soft. So while this is cooking away, we're gonna make the cheese sauce. To a high-speed blender, we're gonna add the drained, soaked cashews along with half of a cup of water, two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a quarter teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder and salt, 
and an eighth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Then we're gonna blend it all up until it's smooth and creamy. And when it's done, we're gonna transfer this to a small saucepan on medium high heat, stirring frequently. After about three minutes, the sauce should be thickened up and ready to enjoy. The last little bit that we're gonna need to make is some quick homemade salsa. So for this, we're just gonna need one cup of cherry tomatoes. We're gonna chop that up, add it to a bowl, along with half of a red onion that's been finely chopped, and the juice from half of a lime. Then we're gonna give it all a mix, and now it's finally time to assemble the loaded chili fries. So we are going to pile the sweet potato fries onto a plate. We're gonna to top it generously with the chili, in fact, all of the chili that we made. We're gonna drizzle over top some of that warmed, creamy cheese sauce. We're gonna also drizzle on some sriracha hot sauce, pile on top of that the salsa, and finally, we're gonna add some fresh avocado slices and some thinly sliced scallions. Every minute of making this feels like time well spent. It's an explosion of flavors, it's hearty, it's warm, it's nourishing, it's a feast for the eyes and for the belly. It's best if you can enjoy it with company, but it's so darn tasty, you're not gonna wanna share it with anyone. I think that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It is a video about french fries though. What is there not to love? Um, but if you did enjoy the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. And we've started to plan recipe videos as we go into spring and summer. So if you have any particular requests or any themes for recipe videos that you'd like to see, feel free to share that in the comments below. We'll see you guys down there. Thanks a lot for watching. Pickup Limes signing off. We'll see you in the next video.